The Well is unfortunately a lesser known or hardly known movie. It's a follow-up by director Michael Rowe to his 2010 bold movie, which got a lot of acclaim called Leap Year, which I've also reviewed on this channel, so be sure to check that out. This is about a young girl, and her name is Caro. And what works so well about this movie is that unlike so many other movies, this is strictly told from her point of view. And it's done in a very realistic, matter-of-fact way. By all intents and purposes, Caro seems to be a normal eight-year-old girl, but she's dealing with a lot of strain in her life because her mother has recently left her father, and now she has married and hooked up with this other man who has basically promised to take care of her as long as she forgets that other man and gets him out of his life. And it becomes apparent right away that this new stepfather of Caro's doesn't care about her. He's basically just there to, I think, have a woman, have a pretty woman, her mother. And for the mother, it seems like a way out of that other relationship and to have some sort of steadiness in her life while she's sort of in this purgatory of being in between relationships. However, given how he feels towards Caro, the strain on her becomes immense. And the only sense of solace or sense of escape that she has away from these feelings and watching these two adults in her life, her mother and then this stepfather who doesn't care about her, watching them bicker and bicker over her and him complaining about her, she goes out into the backyard and she makes up all of these things in her mind. She kind of uses sticks as dolls and she finds a well and she goes down into the well and she will take pictures of her father her real father down into the well and she just kind of dreams and gets in her own space of, of feeling loved and wanted and kind of reminiscing about what could have been or could be with her loving mother and the father that she still wishes to see, but her mother says, you know, no, this other guy is your real father now. But then, of course, when the stepfather scolds her, scolds her sternly and harshly for being in that well and told her never to go down there, she loses it. And this is where the movie may fall apart for some people when she just basically snaps. And all that pinup feeling of, of resentment, of being dejected, of feeling though life has just gotten to this bad place because of her parents and the bickering. She takes that stick and those animals that she'd been looking after and caring for, you know, and just bam, just kills it, right? And that's how the movie ends. It feels a little anticlimactic and it feels like an ending that at least at first, it doesn't fit. But again, this director, like in Leap Year, he really excels at showing what it feels like to feel and be alone. And this little girl, she is certainly very alone. And like in Leap Year, with that woman who reaches a much darker finale, this girl too is now, because of the loneliness, reaching this point where she snaps thus showing the negative effects that ongoing loneliness can have on the mind, the body, and the spirit. So between that ending and the fact that the camera will just sit dead still on certain scenes, even when hardly anything is happening, that could be a drawback to this movie for many viewers. Now, I like and appreciate a deliberate pacing that, that has a deliberate effect, and this movie like in his previous movie, its effect is to show how isolated and lonely that this world for these female characters is and how it affects them. But in this one, he really pushes it even more. There are certain scenes that, that certainly could be snipped a little bit 
and the movie could be a little shorter because of that. Outside of that, though, the young actress who plays Caro does a very good job, though it is a one-note performance because she's just kind of observant and a bit morose the entire time. You see the sadness in her eyes and the yearning for a better life than this. So on that front, she does a really good job, but I can't say it's a dynamic performance and it is more of a one-note performance given that that's what she portrays. It is a very real, honest approach to how a young girl in this situation could feel and it could, could be like and the outcome that may or may not happen. And while it's not as dark as Leap Year, nor is it a masterpiece that I feel that dark movie is, this movie is nonetheless a good movie. It's not perfect, but it's certainly worth a watch for the performance of the young girl and even more so the sense of loneliness and the effect that it has and in seeing it through a young girl's eyes. Most movies, again, they don't, they wouldn't do this. It would, you would be seeing a lot of the adult and this is about as honest as it can be through these very troubling, distressing times that a young innocent child often, often goes through when parents are splitting up or there's a divorce involved or you have new incoming abusive step-parents or parents.